Season 2 of the Umbrella Academy is releasing soon as the teaser of it has been released. Let's dive into the recap for season 1 before any delay. Okay, recap. In 1989, around the world, a lot of women gives birth to children, and all of those women weren't even pregnant in the morning. The billionaire Sir Reginald Hargreaves hears about it and goes to see these women. There were many kids out there, but Sir Hargreaves could only find seven, and he had no emotional attachments with them, and most of their lives they didn't even have names, just numbers. After a while, all these kids left and only Luther stayed and he was sent to the moon for research, as he always wanted to go to space. Alison decided to become an actress. After six years, Sir Reginald dies, all of them comes back and we get to see Vanya and Pogo. Luther suspects that Sir Reginald was murdered at the same time, number five comes back from the future. The funeral happens and they all leave again. Number 5 gets attacked by some goons, Klaus has the power to talk to dead people and Ben, who was one of the Hargreaves, stays with him. Number 5 goes to Anya and tell her about the future apocalypse and she thinks he is insane. The time travel agency send agents named Chacha and Hazel. Allison is looking through the tapes, Diego goes to her detective friend and 5 finds his friend Dolores. Hazel and Chacha finds the Umbrella Academy through the diner's waitress. Luther summons everyone to the house to discuss about Grace and suddenly the agents attack them. During all this confusion, everyone forgot about Klaus and he gets himself kidnapped. Luther was sent on a mission by Sir Reginald and got injured. To save him, he was given a serum because of which he starts to look like a Martian ape. Klaus is being tortured and he's enjoying that. Because he is not on drugs anymore, his powers has been amplified and he tricks the agents. Five finds the lab where the eye was created and the dumb agents got high and destroyed the lab. The detective Patch tries to save Klaus and gets killed, but Klaus flees with the agent's case. This case is a time traveling machine. We go to the future where Five meets the handler and given the assassination jobs. Anya gets pissed and plays the best violin and she finds out that she actually has powers. Klaus comes back to present from the Vietnam War. Diego is sad because of his detective friend's death and also wanted for the same murder. Five is offered a job by the handler but he wants assurances that his family would be spared and she accepts it. Leo is a serial killer by the way. Five goes to the HQ of the commission where the handler works. Luther is preparing the team to fight the apocalypse and they made fun of Vanyag again. And she gets pissed and we see her powers. Luther finds out that the research that he did on Moon was a sham. Vanya sees that Sir Reginald knew all along the Vanya had powers. Five blows the HQ of commission and goes back to the beginning of the episode. Harold Jenkins was born in 1989 at the same time as all the others and he thinks that he is special as well as the others. But he is never accepted and then he snaps and kills his father and goes to jail for 12 years. Five and team has to find Harold as they think he is the reason for the apocalypse. And he is actually Leo. Klaus gets knocked by Luther cause he's upset by the 6 years wasted on the moon. Klaus learns that he needs to use his abilities to the fullest and they have to work together. Vanya and Leo gets in trouble and Leo is hospitalized which was orchestrated by Leo. Vanya is being trained by Leo and she learns how Reginald was afraid of her powers. Vanya learns that Alison used her power on her to make her ordinary because she kept killing nannies and Vanya gets angry and kills Alison. Vanya also finds Leo's diary and kill him as well. Agent Hazel comes to help the team and tells them that Chacha killed the detective. Allison gets saved, but she tells Luther that Vanya has power and Luther locks her up. Vanya goes crazy and a split personality take over. Who destroys the whole mansion, Vanya kills Pogo and the other team members escape the mansion. The team gathers at the bowling alley to discuss what to do now and gets attacked by time traveling agents again. Vanya goes to the concert hall, so does the team and the agents follow them there. Klaus shows his power by manifesting Ben's powers. Vanya tries to kill everyone and Allison has the chance to kill Vanya but doesn't do it. And the energy from Vanya releases towards the moon which destroys it and apocalypse. The whole team time travels back along with Agent Hazel. And the team turns back to young again. That was all for the Umbrella Academy. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment and subscribe.